Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today it is my weigh day, so this video is about my weighing update. If you are new, hi, welcome. I'd be ever so grateful if you could give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if it's something that you're interested in. If not, no hard feelings and thank you for stopping by. If you tune in every time, thank you so much for your ongoing support. It means the world to me. So yeah, let's start. So last week, I always get weighed on a Monday. Last week was a really good week for me. I cut my calories a little bit last week. I was supposed to do it the week before, but I had a hell of a week the week before. Um, so I cut my calories only by a little just because I seemed to be stalling a little bit and I didn't know if that were the reason and when I recalculated them there was a little bit lower so I've lowered them and I was worried and how I was going to cope but I seem to have done just fine um, I've ate different food this week uh, last week as well which I think helps a little bit I still stick with some of the same things like I can't live I can't go a day without a cup of soup I love my cup of soup sometimes I have two I love them they're just amazing they just give me that savoury hit and I really sorry my mechanic just rang me and now I can't remember where I was at <laughs> so anyway <laughs> so yeah I had a good week I love my cup of soups I can't remember where we got to so I'll just start from here I've been eating, I've had a few different foods, mixed it up a bit so I'm getting a little bit bored. I had a dreadful meal that Tesco stroganoff with vile. Don't try that, it tastes disgusting. <laughs> We're like, this is a Tesco finest meal. That ain't Tesco finest quality, I'm telling you, horrible. So I got through the week pretty all right food wise. Water wise, I had come to the conclusion that I was drinking far too much. I mean, I know that you need to drink a lot, but I was drinking the two litre bottle a day, but I didn't realise that everything else that you drank as well included, unless it was alcohol and I don't really drink alcohol. So, so yeah, and I couldn't understand why I was weeing all the time. All the time I couldn't get off the toilet and I'm like, this is just making me miserable. And then I realised that I was drinking like four litres of fluids a day and I'm like, there's no wonder I can't get off the toilet. So I've curbed that a bit. I don't use my two litre bottle now at the minute, but I count all my fluids as fluid because it says water on the app. So you just assume that that's water and other stuff don't count. Well, I did anyway, but I've been a lot better since I've cut it down. So I'm now drinking around eight to 10 glasses of water a day instead of four litres. <laughs> and, and my toilet habits have got a lot better. I'm not weeing every five minutes now. But I was worried that that might affect my weight loss. What if, I, what if because I'm not drinking as much as I weigh, is that going to store my weight loss? But this week, this is not going to be a very long video. This week, I have lost six and a half pounds. So I'm very happy with that. So the two and a half that I put on last week has gone. Plus another four, uh, plus another four. So happy days. So it brings my total to two and a half stone. Point six, I think it's point six. I'll pop it up on the screen anyway. So yeah, we're on our way to three stone now. Happy, happy, happy. That that last half a stone though has has been a long a lot it seems to have been a long road the two stone first two stone come off really quick the the last half a stone has seemed to have been like pulling teeth but now i've lowered my calories and i'm mixing it up a little bit i think that that's helping so here's to next week being accountable smashing it and i would love to lose a minimum of two that might be pushing it a little bit, but that's that's my sort of goal for next week, two pound. And I think it's doable. So we'll just have to see. At a bad end to the week, sort of stress-wise. Well, yesterday was just a terrible day. So my car broke my car's broke down and I need my car because I have to take Maddie to school. She 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 lives she lives, she don't live. 
if she goes to school quite far she could catch a bus but she's frightened and i don't want to i don't want to sort of you know push her too hard because she's had a rough start to a secondary school life so i take her at the moment so not having a car is not an option and then by the time I get back, I've not got time to bring the car home and walk Ollie to school. So I just drop him straight off after. So because I've not had a car this morning, we've overlaid this morning as well, which has not been a great start to the week this week. Getting weighed was a good start, but we overlaid and we've got 45 minutes to sort of do everything. So I got it all done, but I've got to take Dan's car. So I've got to take Dan to work as well. <laughs> so... So I've done like a 26 mile round trip this morning on all school runs and work runs and stuff. So it's what, it's 10 past 11 now and I haven't even had my breakfast yet because I did the school run and the work run and then I popped, I popped home for a wee because I, I mean I can't do it, I can't do a, a long school run without a wee. I still have to go a lot, just not as much as I wear. I'd have been busting if, if it had been a couple of weeks ago. And then I popped to say uh, to Tesco to pick all his prescription up and get a few bits and bobs because there were just a few bits that, you know, just to tide us over until we get paid at the end of the week. And then I my mean, mechanic said he was going to ring me back in two minutes when I were in Tesco car park. So I sat there for 15 minutes and he never rang back. So I just thought, oh, bugger that, I went home. Then I got home and I had to clean up. So I've sort of, because everything was just a mess this morning. I normally do it before I leave the house in the morning, but I just didn't have time this morning. So clearing all the breakfast stuff away for the kids and making the beds, washing the pots and just to general tidy and put the washing away and stuff. And it's just now it's 10 past 11 and I've just sat down to do this and it's dinner time and I haven't had my breakfast yet. So I've just fueled a by caffeine this morning, but I don't particularly feel hungry. So I'm just going to edit this video, I think, and then get my dinner. And then hopefully that'll keep me going till lunch and I, uh, till tea time and then I can have a little bit of something nice at tea time maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see. Or I could just be really low on my calories today and if I want to go over it one day in the week, I've got that option to do it. But yeah, so two, um, two stone 7.6 now, so two and a half stone gone and six and a half stone pound gone this week so it's a pretty good week I, felt, I filmed quite a lot of what I eat in a days this week and it's really helped me because it's helped me to mix it up a bit because I don't want to be filming the same thing all the time oh this is what I had for my dinner I know that my breakfast is pretty similar and I know that my supper is pretty similar and my snacks are pretty similar but I do try to mix it up a little bit with my dinners and my teas so I hope that you've noticed that <laughs> And then you don't think, God, she's just so boring, she just lives off cup soups. So yeah, I might film a few more of those this week, just to keep me accountable, really. If people watch them, then great, and if they don't, then they don't, but it's helping me at the same time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a great week too, if you are on a weight loss journey. If you are on a weight loss journey, let me know in the comments, and also let me know what you've done this week. And what, what day your weigh day is. I always start the week. I like to weigh on a Monday. Start the week. Because I'm, I'm not a weekend binger. Really. Apart from pizza night. But I've been having a low fat pizza on pizza night. I wanted to say as well. I've noticed that twice when I've been filming what I eat in a day. I've done Saturdays. And I've said I only have three meals a day on a Saturday instead of four. But I just wanted to say why, because the, the pizza that I have is not overly high calorie and it's not going to take me over. So on a normal day, I have breakfast, dinner, tea and supper. Just little and often, I just find better for me. But on a Saturday, we don't have our tea until eight o'clock at night, whereas we usually have it at sort of half past five. So that's why I only have three meals a day on a Saturday because I have my breakfast, my dinner and I don't have my tea till 8 o'clock. So I sort of snack around mid-afternoon. But there's only two weeks of drag race left now on the season that we're watching. So so maybe we'll change his routine a little bit. But Dan's really got into pizza night. So who am I to say no pizza? <laughs> I'm sure there'll be something else that we want to watch. 
so yeah thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for your continued support if you found this video i'm not gonna say helpful because it's not helpful is it if you've enjoyed this video please give it a little thumbs up a little thumbs up a big thumbs up whatever thumbs up i think thumbs up are pretty generic aren't they <laughs> i'm tired i lost the hour the hour that we lost on saturday night i actually lost it last night because i couldn't get sleep i went to bed later because it were actually earlier but it was later and then i couldn't sleep because i was panicking about not having enough sleep and then i only decided they were coming in our bed at one o'clock and then I overlaid, so a bit tired today. But yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.